lovelies, how you guys all been doing? I'm doing pretty good. We are hanging out in a pile of blankets in my bedroom today because we have house guests. We are going to do a review on Megonia by Maria Davana Headley. I'm just making it up now. I have no idea. I quite enjoyed this. I gave, I think I'm giving it like a three and a half out of four star. No, three. How many stars do we have? Three and a half out of five instead of a four because there's just too many things left open and that drives me insane. Let's start out with I actually knew what this book was about when we picked it up. This never happens. So I was pleasantly happy with how it went because I had a clue. What? What's with that? Who, who knew that it'd be way more exciting to know what your book's about? So it starts out with a girl who has always had breathing difficulties and the doctors have said you won't live forever. She has many times been told she'll die by the time she's insert age here. She's almost at her 16th birthday and things change a lot. <laughs> I really enjoyed the character development that happened at the beginning of the book but I feel like the character development kind of plateaued there when you added new characters and changed what was happening in the story. I'm going to give a little bit of spoilers today because it's such a short book, it's about 310 pages, and I don't think I can not spoiler some of it for the complaints I have. It starts with her and her best friend, and them just kind of living every day as they live every day. Him slightly worried that one day will be their last. And the cute little back and forth and who they are with their little quirks and their weird things they're excited about. I feel like the way that their friendship is written and the way their parents are written is really well done in a way that felt truthful to me. Pretty much the only other book I've read that was like a terminal ill person that knows they're gonna die is Fault in Our Stars and I feel I never felt really connected to the characters in that book. In Megonia I was very connected and very sad and had all of the feels when it had to come when it had to do with her being sick and things happening and how it affected her family and her best friend and so that was I really enjoyed that but then it changed which this book was to do it was her whole life she lived with these breathing difficulties and then it all changes she has she sees a boat in the sky and that changes the whole world for her she gets taken up to the boat and finds out that she's not a normal human she's part of Megonia and that's where it starts getting confusing because I feel like not enough was explained too many storylines were left hanging and I don't feel like I know enough to even have good guesses of what's gonna happen in the next book I did some research and there definitely is a sequel the writer is writing but I don't know if it's been picked up yet by any publishers one of the things I kind of liked when he when she joined the floating world is the second male character kind of love interest idea. I want them to dive deeper into that. They didn't make it really like a, oh, you have to choose one or the other. It's you're now here and you still love the other person left on Earth. And I really enjoyed that it wasn't just like you have to pick. The only choice that she ends up having to make is if she's going to follow herself or she's going to follow her mother. Her surprise, you have a mother you didn't know you were adopted kind of concept. I want to see where they're going to go with the different characters and how they're going to more explain the different levels of the world of Megonia. Because I'm still really confused about how they're split up 
and exactly what each level of the beings are. These people are part bird, but there's like different levels of being part bird, like being able to go completely into bird shape and then being out of it, you're kind of humanish, but also with feathers and skin colors. And I'm not sure if anybody, everybody who's like a human on the on board could also change into a bird. But then there was also just birds and other weird animals and I'm just, I have a lot of questions and it's such a short book that I know that they couldn't put all of it in this book, but I want to know. And that that's what I want to know. Where they're going from here, backstory 16 years ago, how certain things are possible because once a bird's been bonded it can't bond with somebody else but then all of a sudden it can bond with somebody else. Please tell me, is it genetic? Who knows? Let's find out. Eh. I think it was a really good read. It definitely gives you the feels. So if you're not in the mood for crying, do not pick this up. But maybe somebody can explain to me a bit more about this world. Maybe I just don't know a lot about Earthsea kind of idea. How have you guys all been doing? I hope it's really great. And let me know down below what you guys have been reading. And if you've been liking it. I am going to get back to reading Golden Sun by Pierce Brown and then onwards with my June TBR. Hopefully you guys are doing great and I'll talk to you next week. Bye!